Hi Front Porch Art friends and welcome to our mini lesson on how to paint clouds. Thank you for purchasing your fun tween box and we hope you're enjoying it and let's get started. So you want to pull out your blue paint, came with the box, you got the blue and white. And we're first going to brush on the top, start at the top of the mini canvas, make sure you get the sides and use that blue acrylic paint. Now it is acrylic, so if you get it on anything, you want to wash it right away. Um, clothing and that sort. And I want you to use your 5 8 wash brush, which is the flat, wider brush. Or you can use one of the smaller ones, it's up to you. But the 5 8 is a nice brush for putting on a wash of paint. So you're going to add the blue, Get make sure you get the sides. And then you're going to slowly kind of add in some of the white and that and create somewhat of an ombre pattern. Slowly going down the canvas and getting lighter as you're near the bottom. And if you have to go in and add some more white up at the top, that's okay. You just kind of want to blend it together. Again, starting dark at the top and moving your way down, making it the lightest at the bottom. And this is going to be our background for the clouds. Filling in a little more white at the bottom. And then remember to paint the sides of your canvas too. You can go in and darken it up a little bit if you want to blend it some more. Add a little more white, but you get the idea. You're just slowly kind of brushing it and blending it. And I'm not using any water right now. I'm just using the paint and blending it. Making sure to get the sides too. All right, now the next thing we're gonna do, once we have this all painted and got the sides and we have what we're happy with the background, we're gonna pull out our number eight, this is a filbert brush. And you'll notice it has like a rounded tip at the top. And this is gonna be a good brush for making clouds. And so get that brush out. And we're gonna start by using a little blue and a little white, mostly blue, I want you to make an outline for your clouds. And you basically start by using the rounded tip and brushing down to make the shape of your clouds. You can use the tip of the brush in a circular motion too. Kind of gives you that soft, kind of swirly motion of a cloud. And then you're just gonna blend down onto the painting. And you could make big, round, fluffy clouds, or you could kind of make the bottoms more flat. There's a card that came with your kit and it tells you the different kinds of clouds. So you can experiment also on the scrap pieces of paper that you got on the different kinds of clouds and decide which kind you want to make. But for this, we're going to make the, um, for this example, we're going to make the fluffy clouds. So again, I'm just going in and I'm putting in a nice little base layer of what I'd like my clouds to look like. And they're going to get smaller as you go to the bottom of the canvas. And that'll create a perspective. Perspective will be that they're in the distance the lower they get on the canvas. Okay, then we're just going to wipe our brush. I'm still not using any water yet. Um, and get the smaller filbert brush that's in your box, in your kit. It's a number four. And you can go back in and use that one too. They both have a rounded tip, so they're great for making clouds. And we're going to start to layer in more paint. So do a little more white, add a little blue to it, and go back in and layer it over what you, your base cloud that you made. And I'm just blending down right over top. And you can use your finger to blend. Actually, your finger works great for blending paint and blending it down into the cloud. Basically, we're working dark to light. We're starting with the darker paint on the bottom, and eventually we're gonna to go to all white at the top. So right now we're putting in a layer that has white and some blue, but not all white yet, and blending it with our finger. And you're gonna keep going and do that for every single cloud that you made on your little painting. Layering each one. And you're going to 
continue to overlap the paint making each layer, each layer lighter than the last. And when you get towards the bottom of the canvas, you really don't need much paint. You're literally just making a little, a little brush of paint to show that there's a cloud. Give the idea that there's a cloud there. And again, I'm just blending with my finger. And you can see it's already starting to look more cloud-like the more paint I put on. The layers give the painting more depth. So you really want to make sure you put on at least two, probably three layers of paint, getting lighter as you layer. And then at the end I'll show you how we're going to add a light source. This is kind of a fun, relaxing project too. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Acrylic paint does dry fast, so if, you, if you're not happy with something you just did, you need to kind of wipe it quickly and reapply. Okay, and now we're nearing the end of the project, and we want to blend it or add more layers where we think it's needed. And then we can go back in and add a light source. And the way you do that is you decide which side the light is coming from, and in this demonstration, Sun and the light is coming from the left. So on the upper left edge of all the clouds, I'm going in and adding a bright white, just on the edge, not on the whole cloud, just on the very tip and edge. And that way, if you look at the clouds in the sky, you can tell where the sun hits, it's very bright. So that'll give the idea that it's a sunny day and it'll also add more dimension to your clouds. And you can also use this time to go back in and blend them some more. Really, you can work the clouds as much as you'd like until it's where you like it to be. Just remember to keep layering, lighten as you go, blend with your finger, use the round brushes to give you that smooth, rounded shape of a cloud. And then the final step is putting the bright white in the corners. Show there's a light source and remember to when you work your way down to get smaller and lighter to show there's distance in the sky and when you have it the way you like it guys you made a beautiful cloud painting and you have a little easel that came with your kit and when it dries you can prop it up on that and for yourself to enjoy in your room or in your house and we'd love to see a photo of it if you want to send us one on Instagram or Facebook at Front Porch Art Kits. And we hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for joining us.